so we're out here on the crossbow range and i'm here with derek phillips of mission crossbows derek thanks for being here um, so this is the first year for the crossbow 45 class tell us what that is first i want to thank you pj rob and all the great people at lancaster and cam archery for being out here this this is great really appreciate the coverage second to none wonderful job thank you so yeah it's great to be out here this is a new class crossbow 45 there's still a crossbow 40 but they basically took the scores from last year guys like jason wilkins shooting 60 up and saying well we got to stretch these guys out speed stayed the same but they added five yards but i tell you what these guys are getting better they spent the all season pricing up bows are better bolts are better and uh, i think scores are going to rise and hang right in there but We'll just see. We'll see. It, are you seeing a difference between, I mean, it's just like you said, it is five yards, but is there a big difference between that five yards? Oh, absolutely. You just added several percentage to the distance uh, between 40 and 45, and you combine it with the wind factor that we're facing today. Right. Definitely. How do you feel about, I mean, this is a big crossbow class. I don't know how many are in it, but uh, we were talking to some folks that said it used to average around 20, 25. There's way more than that here today. The past two years, this class has grown dramatically. Um, you know, probably a 50% growth last year. This year, there's 24, 25 on this range, and I'm told there's nearly a dozen on the other range, crossbow 40. I'm not sure what they finished, but... The classes are definitely growing. Um, I think there's a peaking in interest. People are taking an appreciation of the inherent accuracy of these bows. And, um, you know, they're enjoying the sport. I'm seeing a lot of sub ones out here, mission sub ones. I'm guessing that's probably no accident. I mean, because they are tack drivers. <laughs> there's, there's no question Matt McPherson Matthews has always been a huge supporter of 3D archery and uh, follows suit that he would want mission to do the same. Um, we're fully behind ASA and IBO with their, uh, they've lengthened their course as well. Now we're at 50 yards with them unknown. So that's going to be quite the challenge. And they lowered their, they, they created a speed limit there. So now we're under the gun there to judge further and under a speed limit. So it's going to be interesting there. But yes, you're right, PJ. Mission Archery's focus is supporting the archers out here. This is a proving ground for accuracy, and uh, last year was a testament. I think uh, out of all the podiums, we only had one that slipped away from us. So the uh, sub one is proving this uh, place in the accuracy role in the hands of humans. All right, Derek. Hey, we appreciate your time, and we'll look for you out here tomorrow during the finals. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys being out here again. Thanks again. Thanks, Derek.